Top tier sloth here. We're gonna play some armored core today. This will be my first time playing through it, so it's pretty much a blind playthrough. Um, I'd say pretty much because I did play the first handful of levels a little bit ago, but um, outside of that, don't really know what's going on here. I haven't looked up any guides. I'm not gonna use any cheats or anything like that. So, Beth, fair shot. See, it's a From Software game. Probably most people are going to be watching this after seeing that Armor Core 6 trailer and trying to see what this game's about, so... If you're joining from that, thanks for joining, and, uh... see what this game's about. <clears throat> I'm going to watch this whole intro here. Now the basic gist of this game is you assemble your robot and you're a future mercenary that does contract work for various companies. And uh, as far as I know, just you know, from everything I've heard about the game over the years, um, I do know you get different endings, <coughs> or at least different missions based on which corporations you choose, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Don't know if there's any mid game cutscenes or anything like that inside of this opening. As far as I know it's mostly text based, but could be wrong. This game was released July tenth, nineteen ninety seven. Um even though it is a from software game, it was not led by Miyazaki, he didn't start until Armored Core 4. I think that was his first development according to that IGN interview that came out recently, so all this stuff is before his time. Before the modern Elden Ring stuff. <coughs> or souls in general. It's a pretty good CG for 1997, I think. Really know what to compare it to at the time, but oh, there we go. Can be going into scenario mode. Um, I don't think any of what I played saved before, so we're just gonna start fresh. Just the whole thing. It's gonna. Fit. Let's give it a shot. Okay, I'll take that. This is the only test that we give to people who want to become a raven. You must battle against the opponent AC and survive. If you survive, you will be considered a raven. That's all. Good luck. Probably didn't say it that way, but... Um, I've already looked System over the controls, engaged. so I kind of have a basic understanding. Oh yeah. This already feels like I remember it. Oh yeah, gotta use this camera though still. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright. I remember strafing a lot, and that was kind of the thing. I remember triggers just being... So if you don't know how these, this game controls, or at least these older games control, triggers are vertical movement like this. R1, L1 are your left and right strafe. Uh, squares shoot, X is boost slash jump. You have a melee attack on the circle. The test is over. Oh, from this okay. moment on, you are a raven. That wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, and then you got switch weapon on triangle. So pretty basic. We have new mail. You've got mail.
to all new ravens from our to all new ravens welcome to the raven's nest we at the raven's nest use the net to provide various types of support to the to those who have become ravens in addition to relaying merchant <laughs> merchants missions we mainly provide ac repair services supply ammo sell new ac parts etc we also occasionally use email to relay information regarding the missions that you have accepted this never interferes with the mission requesters or with the individual ravens. Even if you have trouble with the mission requesters, the nest cannot get involved. Be aware of this. Oh, by the way, call me R. I will be your contact at the nest. Whether you are association long or short depends entirely on your skill. I'll be in touch. Alright. Um, I don't... Okay. I think it's like an arena thing hear about the arenas from these games. <laughs> Shop? We can... I mean... But yeah, this is where the bulk of the game lies. It's just getting your parts. And... Yeah. A lot of information to take in. That's alright. Get it all. I don't even honestly know where to start. I think last time I played I did a generator first. This time I might start with the legs because I remember weight being an issue. See some of the jumps. Uh, first joints. You got four-legged types. Custom you can have a straight-up tank. Caterpillar, as it's called. <clears throat> Tons of different weapons. Full stripe. That's right. Bazooka. Bazooka. Machine gun. Okay. Can't afford anything anyway, so we're not going to keep looking at that. I think save, and then uh, we'll get into our first first mission. Like this music so far. I don't think yet. Oh, what kind of options do we got here, actually? Looking at it. Volume. Versus stage. Control configuration. Time limit. Okay. Pretty basic stuff. Let's get to a mission. We got eliminate squatters and elim eliminate strikers. Quester Zam City Guard. Zero in advance, 14,000 upon success. We're to eliminate a group of illegal squatters at an abandoned factory on the east side of the city. They profess to be radicals opposed to area redevelopment. However, the planners have already reached an agreement with the citizens in question, so these are merely outlaws who want to excuse to run, run amok. They are still citizens, so the standpoint of the guard, we cannot use force. If they are left as is, there is a risk of affecting the progress of the plan. There is no need for the restraint. I want you to firmly teach them the rules of society. You know, with bullets. Theater of Operations, Old Factory, East Sam City. Got worker MTs and regular MTs. Eliminate illegal squatters. Okay. About as straightforward as it gets. First mission. Go and murder the things. System engaged. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we can find. Gotta love that uh, long distance, uh, <laughs> that render distance there. Okay, these guys are pretty simple. 
strafe and shoot, strafe and shoot. Can do. These guys are... Yeah, there you go. Okay, that must be the worker MT, or is that the regular MT? I'm actually not sure. I don't know what MT stands for. Uh, probably said it like two seconds ago and I completely forgot it. So yeah, you want to feather your energy, keep your boost going as long as possible. Um, once it gets into that red, the recharge gets a lot slower and once you run out you gotta wait for it to fully recharge before you can use it again, so definitely don't want that. You want to keep it as full as possible, as long as possible energy at the top left, there's our health, as you can probably tell already, so you're not dumb. Uh, we do have other weapons, and yeah, I've got missiles, which I should probably be using. I don't know who's closer, I mean, I guess we've got to read the numbers there, but those aren't actual real numbers, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> Such an awkward angle. There we go. Sorry. Now, turning speed is not something you can just increase in this game, since it's all, you know, from what I understand, you actually get better turning speed with different parts. I've never gotten far enough to know that for sure, but. Kind of reading up a lot about this game, which is why I know where I know shit about it. Um, I haven't really actually done too much of the gaming itself yet. Mostly just been on the subreddit lurking and reading everybody's posts and achieved. stuff. There we go. Simple mission. So, repair costs, mission. Okay, not too bad. No grading of any sort here, that's good. Back to the Raven's Nest. Um, I don't remember how much this stuff costs. Let's see, about 30,000, 20,000. Seventeen. Zero verb strengths. Good maneuverability and inexpensive. Of guns. Damage. It's just crap damage. This is just better, more ammo price, but just about everything else is more. But let's save up for that. Just wait. Let's sell some stuff. This might be good. 11,000. How much was that? 23. Some change. Let's quit. 
missiles. Okay. All right. A lot going on. We need more money, essentially. So we gotta do at least one more mission. I don't think I'll sell that gun and pick up the um, the machine gun. We just now discovered several unidentified empties in the sewers. The empties overwhelmed the guards going to investigate and fled. I don't think they're ordinary citizens. Our reputation will be ruined if we let them go. We will begin to search. We'll begin our search of the sewers at once and drive them to you like cattle. You will wait there and pound them. Theater of operations, sewers. This is eight empties. So eight the empties are the regular bipeds there. Okay, this should be easy. Sorry about that sounds there. I have to take a System drink of water. Engaged. This is the guard. We cornered the enemy as expected. Already there. We'll leave the rest up to you. Seems like from a distance these machine guns can't really do much, so we're just gonna stay as far away as possible during this mission. We see somebody. There they are. really no room to boost around, so just keep strafing. Oh god, okay, don't go backwards and strafe. That's a bad idea. Backwards walk is significantly slower. Doing a terrible job staying distant and strafing here. Taking way too much damage. It is what it is. cost. Totally worth it, right? Okay. Um, I know a lot of people say to rebind the controls, but honestly, I don't want this. I've always been pretty okay with unique controls with different games anyways, though, so... Like, I don't... I, I wish more games would actually do unique controls, because it probably would make more sense for certain games, but... People like the standardized stuff these days, which I don't blame them. Stuff like this definitely gives it some more personality. Shit. Alright. Taking so much damage. Target Ugh. achieved. That sucked. Eh, that was way too much damage. Oof. Oof. Oh god, why? That was so much. So so much. <clears throat> well. No, it's not definitely not worth going back. Well, I mean, maybe it is worth going back, but because missions aren't going to get any easier, but I'm not going to, I didn't save before that, so, new lesson learned, save between missions. Just doing a slot here. That's okay. It was just a couple thousand deficit, like that up, no problem. I mean, we probably won't, because... that good at this game yet. <laughs> Let's see, so... Select. Select. to sell. What's the rifle over here? Yeah. It's pretty good, though. <sighs> good damage. Ammo's not great. Get rid of it. 
Alright, pick up the machine gun here. Yeah, so you can buy and sell everything at the same price, uh, which is a tip I, I saw online, so that's something really handy to know, because so that lets you experiment for sure. Still short of 3000 on that. Is this done? Now, stick with this actually then. If you don't have, uh, what you call it? Money. Okay. Definitely saved before I did anything new, so we're good. Okay, strikers. Chrome, 13,000. Workers in the Avalon Valley development area demonstrating better working conditions have taken over the dome bridge. Did a barricade on the bridge and completely halted traffic. There's no sign of their giving in to the guards. They persist in demanding to see the HQ. I told them that they have no time to deal with such trifling matters. They don't seem to understand. Anyway, we can't leave this as is in a drunk battle. Lateral damage would become a problem so forcibly in the open. Several worker room tees are on the bridge, but this should be no problem at all for your ravens. Our mission is also deployed. It should be an easy job, so go to it. Okay, dome bridge. So we send these worker room tees. Kill them all. They'll take a little less damage this time. System engaged. Oh, okay, it's just the hallway. Crap. <laughs> you just, do you go automatically a little forward and go back there? Okay, sorry, got a little sidetracked there. some stick drift going on there. That was weird. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Should be able to take some hot shots at him. On now. Okay. Easy enough. Some missiles here. This is one uh, 90s ass tune, that's for damn sure. <laughs> oh, nice. Just out of range. I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't know if that's fitting or not. Instead of shit, but whatever. Hey, 178, that's great. There's tons of damage. That's fine. Oh, that was great. <laughs> I thought for sure that was just like a drop to my death. I was gonna lose that mission, but somehow ended up with uh, being totally fine. So we'll save this immediately. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna buy that gun first. Yes, we're gonna buy Shop. Sell. Is that thing? There we go. Get rid of that. And we'll buy machine gun. 
next thing I think we'll buy is the generator. Actually, can we afford it? Which one should we get here? Pulse generator. Next to nearly twice that. Maximum charge. Let's see. Is there a way to compare with existing stuff? I assume the stuff you currently have is the GPS VA. It has less. Let's wait. Per output. Max charge. Wait, energy output. That's good. <laughs> I have to read up some more on this game. Um, red zone's small. And also maximum charge is a lot less. Less charge, but more. I'm not understanding what output is. Hmm. Well, cheapest one here is going to be this guy, so. It's drift rates of about 4,000, then about 4,000. I guess we'll go to this one here. Well, as long as we can sell them the same price, I mean, there's one going with the cheapest option. I just, I mean, there probably is once I get more into the stats, but it's like a good plan. Let's see if we can't sell. Sure, it sells for. 19,000? That one. How much is it again? It's 20. Should be enough. Let's see. <clears throat> 308 weight. 720. Sell that. <laughs> Six. Ah, oh, so close. see the stats here. So, way less weight. Yeah, I mean, everything about it seems to be much better, so... Just a pure upgrade there. Okay. Leaves us with a little bit left over. Let's get this assembled. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like, did I have a machine gun? <laughs> Sweet, there we go. Alright, new generator, new machine gun. This is gonna be good. Maybe customize it a bit and they'll probably call it a episode there. Emotional parts that we need like that. Performance. Ugh. Points, defensive points, stability, mobility, turning speed. Yeah, see, it's got its own. It's there. Boost ability. Support system. Radar range. Raid average. Hey, it's actually not bad. It's average. Change color. Four frost. Change. Oh, here we go. Assertive machine. Love it. Emblem. Oh boy. Oh, this is just straight up a pixel editor. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a pick like out of five emblems or something. Alright, well, we're gonna definitely mess with this some other time. Good to know that is there. 
feel like recreating pixel art, but uh, that would be a bit much to... <laughs> I guess I could have just cancelled. Uh, I've done that. Let's see, I'm gonna call this... Big... Just fits it again. Okay. Could test it. So let's see what the test looks like. I don't think I ever actually tested my mix before when I played this the first time. Test mode engaged. Oh, this is just straight up the first mission. Okay. These guys fly a lot. Yes. Oh boy. Go. Oh yeah. Test mode. That feels pretty good. Definitely an upgrade there. We'll see how it is in action. Next time we get back, go ahead and save off camera. I'll see you next time.